Let's go through the formula so that you can understand how we are going to be able to apply these in real life because it's way easier than you think. First one that you're going to do is going to be percentage plus unexpected thing. So this could sound like 75% of business owners surveyed don't have a succession plan. Something that's like, wow, 75% owners, I wanna know more. I'm gonna open the email. The next one is the trendy thing plus percentage change. So again, this is gonna make you, see, you play in that brand authority piece that I just talked about. So an example would be rising inflation means 25% of owners are selling sooner. Great subject line. It's on trend, inflation's all over the news. What are we gonna do about it? What does that mean for owners exiting? I was just on a webinar on Tuesday with one of our partners and they, I got asked that question. What do we think inflation's gonna do for exit plans? What do we think a recession's gonna do for exit plans? So buzz. The next one is one of my favorite techniques, especially when it comes to maybe when you're getting a little bit into the sales funnel and you're trying to convince people to open your email, it's called a brief statement. So you don't know a lot about it. It's called, you can see here, it says blind spots. A lot of subject lines are actually gonna be a little bit longer. So it's gonna stand out by being short, but not only that, it's going to give you the ability to say blind spots. What do they mean by that? Then there's the open loop statement. So this is, the results are in would be an example of that. I'm telling you that there's results. You don't know what the results are of, and you don't know what the actual outcome is. So it's very mysterious, but it's again, it's an open loop where you want to know more. Next one is what insert industry needs to insert verb. So this could sound again, and what, why, how all of these are play into it. So why business owners need to start exit planning now. Then you have when you're trying to announce something. So let's say you have a new product that you've launched out. You have a new mastermind. You have an upcoming webinar. Anything that maybe you've created a little mystique or exclusivity with a wait list, you could do now open and then it's going to be registration. So now open, our most popular mastermind is back would be an example of that. Next would be very salesy driving towards something. So if you were to be planning out an event, if you're planning out a webinar and perhaps your registration is a little bit low and so you're trying to spike that registration list, it would be just percentage, at just number. So that could be days, hours, weeks, two, and then whatever it is that you're trying to lead to. So it would say just two days left to register. You don't even have to say what it is because again, that goes into the mystique thing of them maybe wanting to open that. And then again, the last one on our list is X ways to do insert desirable things. And again, this could be five ways to reduce owner of reliance. This could sound five things you need to consider for this. 